Hi, this is Mrs. Booker from Lamar Elementary School, and I'm going to share with you a piece today, an informational piece from our my book number five, and we're going to go to page 30, 36, page 36. You also have a text feature piece that was in your packet that will help us for today and tomorrow's lessons. So if you would have those available, we'll be ready to start. Here we go. This is called, um, it says, Prepare to Read. We, um, informational text is nonfiction, and it gives facts about a topic. As you read sea otter pups, pay attention to details and facts about the topic, maps that help explain the topic, and pictures with labels. So we learned that in an informational piece, we learn something from it. Okay. As you read, stop and think. If you don't understand something, reread, ask yourself questions, use what you already know, and look for visual clues to help you understand the text. Some power words. Surface, wraps, attached, crack. Surface we know is the top of something. Wraps is something that goes around. Attached is something that's connected to. And crack is a split or a break in something. Okay, here we go. Sea Otter Pups by Ruth Owen. Okay, I've attached some little arrows here to show you some text features. Meet a sea otter pup. This heading here, this is the heading. Anytime you see a heading, Underneath it is what that's going to tell you about. A mother sea otter and her pup are floating in the ocean. The mother otter is resting on her back. The little pup is cuddled up on his mother's belly, just above the water. Isn't that sweet? Look at him. These are called labels. A label shows you and points of what it's talking about. Sea otter pup, mother sea otter. Our next heading says, what is a sea otter? Sea otters are animals that live in the ocean. They are about as big as a medium-sized dog. Sea otters have very thick fur. The fur helps keep sea otters' body warm and dry in the cold water. Here's another label, thick fur, adult sea otter. This is called a graphic. A graphic can be a, a picture or a uh, map and it says adult sea otter size. There's the mother, the child, and the sea otter. So you can, it gives you a, a, a reference on how large a sea otter is compared to us and to adults. The next heading says, where do sea otters live? Although sea otters live in the ocean, they stay close to the shore. The yellow part of this map show where sea otters live. This map is called a graphic, and here's our, our map key. says where sea otters live is yellow, or kind of a, a light greeny color. This is called an inset map. This is our globe. This is all the, the whole planet. Then we have a, a red rectangular box. They blew that picture up and made it larger so we can see it close up. They zoomed in, and so now we can see clearly the names where this yellow, where the sea otters live. Here's some labels, the shore. Here's our sea otters on the shore. Okay. A newborn pup, next heading. A mother seal gives birth to, in the ocean to just one pup at a time. After the pup is born, she places it on her chest to keep it warm. Then she feeds it milk from her body. A pup drinks mother's milk until it is about four to six months old. Mother sea otter, one week old pup. Oh, look at him. He's so fuzzy and he's sweet. Here's our next heading, learning to swim. A newborn sea otter cannot swim, but it, cannot, but it can float really well. It floats on top of the water like a beach ball. The mother sea otter gives the, her pup swimming lessons. By the time it is about 14 weeks old, the pup is able to swim and dive. Floating mother sea otter, that's our label, floating pup. 
Oh, he's so cute. He's just floating right next to her. Our next heading, sea otter food. Sea otter adults and pups eat crabs, clams, and other shellfish. The mother otter dives under the water to hunt for food. She teaches the pups how to dive and find shellfish too. Here's the labels. Clams, crabs, mother sea otter, pup. Our next heading, time for dinner. Once the mother sea otter finds a clam, she swims back up to the water's surface. She also brings a rock with her and lays it on her belly. Then she smashes the clam onto the rock to open its shell. The mother otter and the pup share the clam meat. Here's our label. There's the clam. Here's the sea otter pup. Mother sea otter. And here's the clam meat that they're eating. It's a light pinkish color. Here's our next heading. Good night. When it's time to sleep, an adult sea otter sometimes wraps seaweed around its body. The seaweed, called kelp, is, an, is attached to the ocean floor. It holds the otter in one place. This keeps the waves from carrying the otter out into the ocean. Sometimes the mother also wraps kelp around the pup so it, as it sleeps on her chest. Here's our labels, sleeping adult sea otter. And you can see this kelp, it looks like leaves, like an ivy plant that goes all the way to the bottom of the ocean. It's like a rope she's tied them to so they don't float out. Our next heading, growing up. When a pup is between six and 12 months old, it leaves its mother. It knows how to dive underwater to hunt for food and it can use rocks to crack open the shellfish. The pup is now ready to begin its own grown-up life. Our label, clam meat. Look at him. He, that little pup is grown now, and he's eaten. There's the clams. He's got some clams there. Um, on the back of your anchor chart, right here, on the back of this anchor chart, if you want to, to think about some questions, what are three things that you learned about this informational piece? What are three things you learned about our sea otter? Then the second thing, what did you learn about text features? How do they help you locate information? Okay, this was great. We're going to finish this lesson. We'll finish this lesson tomorrow, and we'll be using the second page text features that's in your packet along with this text feature. You guys have a wonderful, safe after evening. Bye.